It's that time again to show you 10 Chrome extensions that are amazingly useful. Some of these may help you out to get the most out of your Google Chrome browser or any other Chromium-based browser that allows Chrome extensions. So hopefully you find at least a couple of these to be useful for you. Those I show you today will be a mix of well-known and lesser-known add-ons, with a few of these being recommended by other viewers. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Number one, one tab. The purpose of this extension is to reduce tab clutter. They also claim one tab can save up to 95% memory because you'll have a reduced number of tabs open in Chrome. Let me open a bunch of tabs to demonstrate. So I'll just right click on the bookmarks bar and select open all seven. Now with these open, I'll select the one tab icon in the upper right corner. It's now moved everything into one tab with everything in a single list. You can open each tab individually as you need them just by selecting them in the list. You also have the option to restore all, which will reopen every tab in your list. Selecting delete all will delete all your tabs. You can share as a web page. And if you select more, you can name, lock, or star this tab group. If you need to get more organized when working with several tabs, check out one tab. Number two, speed test. Most of you have probably been to the speed test website to test out your internet performance. This Chrome extension eliminates the need to go to their website. In the upper right hand corner, all you have to do is just select the speed test icon, then select go, and let it do its thing. When done, you'll know your download and upload speed at the time you run the test. The download speed is good, my upload speed is terrible. Thank you, Charter Spectrum. I expect better from you in the future since the merger with Time Warner is now complete. But that probably won't happen, so let's move on. Number three, a vast online security. Many of you may be familiar with Web of Trust. A vast online security is very similar, and they've never been caught selling user information like Web of Trust. A vast online security helps to alert you if a site is deemed unsafe by their community of over 400 million users. When you do a search, sites with a green bubble are deemed to be safe. Those in gray with a question mark have no rating. And if you find one in red, that site has been deemed to be unsafe. When you're on a website, you can select the Avast icon where you can rate each site with either a positive or negative rating. And below that, it will also show you the trackers used for that site, which you can allow or block. I mentioned Web of Trust earlier. I've been assured that their issues have been fixed and I have recommended their extension in the past. If you want a solid alternative, give a vast online security a try. Number four, music's match. This will be a quick one. This one's useful for showing the lyrics of music videos on YouTube. If you've ever turned on the closed captioning for a music video, the lyrics usually don't match up very well. Music's match solves that problem by showing the lyrics on time with the music. Due to copyright laws, I can't demonstrate this one for you, but if this is something that interests you, check out music's match. Number five, disconnect. This is one of my favorite privacy tools for Chrome. It allows you to block individual sites that track you, which they claim can make web pages load 44% faster. Let's check out this privacy invading website. First, select the disconnect icon. At the top, the Facebook, Google, and trackers for Twitter are automatically blocked. Below that, you'll see categories for advertising, analytics, social, and content. If they're checkmarked and in green, it means they're blocked. If for some reason you wanted to unblock individual trackers, all you have to do is untick them. A cool feature I like is when you select visualize page, it shows a brand new perspective with a description of the types of circles here on the left. If you're into privacy, disconnect is a must have extension. Number six, live start page. In the previous video, I showed you Momentum. Live Start Page, which is not as well known, does everything Momentum does and more. When you open a new tab, it's useful for organizing several items into one tab. It shows a search bar, a clock, a to-do list below the clock, weather, and live wallpaper in the background. If you click the arrow on the right side, you can have websites sorted into different groups. To close the pane and get the clock back, double click in the main window, if you hover your mouse at the bottom center of the screen, you can set up meditation mode with nature and ambient noise. 
To change the theme of Live Start Page, go to Settings in the lower left-hand corner and select the cogwheel, and then click on Select Themes. It will open up a brand new window with a ton of backgrounds to choose from, along with different options you can change along the left-hand side. If you enjoy customizing your browser experience, check out Live Start Page. Number seven, unshorten.link. You've all seen those shortened links on web pages. They usually start out with bit.ly, t.co, and there are many others. I personally get suspicious whenever I see those shortened links. This lesser known extension helps to unmask those links and analyzes them for malware. Let me demonstrate. I found a link for you. It's a bit.ly. When you click on the link, it first takes you to a page that will give you the full URL. It also lets you know if it is safe or malicious. If you want to continue onto the site, just click on the full URL. Unshorten.link is a great little extension that just may save you from going to a dangerous website. Number eight, MailTrack. This is a great email tracking extension for those times to find out if an email you have sent has been read or not. This tracking extension works for Gmail and Inbox by Google. When you go to compose and send your email, once that email has been sent, it will show one check mark in green. Once that email has been read by the recipient, the other check mark will turn green and show you how long ago your email was read. With MailTrack, now you don't have to ask the recipients of your email if they've read your email yet. Number nine, what font? There may be times when you're curious about the font being used on a web page. You may even find yourself wanting to use that font on a project you're working on. What font makes it super easy to find this out? On any web page, select the What Font icon, and then hover your mouse over any text. It says this text is Benton Sands. If you left click on the text, you get more details. It says this is Benton Sands bold with a size of 19 pixels and a line height of 22 pixels. It even shows the color number of the text. What Font is an excellent extension for finding out the font on a web page. Number 10, Black Menu for Google. This last one was suggested by several people in the comments. Yes, I do actually read every single comment. Black Menu for Google makes it easier to access Google services when you're not on a Google-owned site. On any website, just select the Black Menu icon from the upper right-hand corner. You'll see some of the more popular services here in the Black Menu. When you select any of them, they appear in the left pane of the extension. To open in a full page, select the Expand icon. I'll reopen Black Menu again. You can change the order of this list. Just simply left click and you can drag it up or down inside of the list. To add more services to the main list, scroll down and select Add. Now you'll see the full list of Google services. To add them to the main list, left click and drag to the right. To remove any service from the main list, select one and move it to the left. If you live in the world of Google, and use a lot of their services, this is a must have extension for you. That concludes this list. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments of a Chrome extension that you feel deserves to be mentioned in the series. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and then the bell notification icon to be notified of new releases in this series and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.